Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to New Bit Workshop. This is the Festool CTM26 extractor. It's an M-class extractor, which means it's suitable for dusts which are in the 0.1 milligram per cubic metre. And certainly in the UK, and I'm sure elsewhere in the world, M-class extractors are being specified as the norm in all sorts of environments, particularly in the construction industry where you have construction dust and more so in the woodworking industry as well. Now, if you were in the UK in October of last year and went to the big woodworking uh, exhibition in Birmingham, W16, uh, then you would have no doubt seen the British Lung Foundation stand where they were checking the lung capacity of a number of the attendees. And the figures were quite shocking. And these were people working mainly in the woodworking industry and in construction. So it's a good thing to protect your lungs, I can assure you. So let me just take you through some of the statistics. It takes in 3,900 uh, litres of air through the hose every minute. It has a suction capacity of 24,000 pascal. It is supplied with a 27 millimetre hose, but you can connect 27, 36 and 50 millimetre hoses to this machine. There is an auto start feature, which means you can plug a tool into the front uh, panel here, and that tool can have a rating of up to 2,400 watts. That certainly covers all of the Festool tools, uh, including the OF2200 router, uh, and also the CAPEX 120 saw. It weighs 14 kilos. That means even I can lift it. It is supplied uh, with one 3.5 meter length of 27 millimeter hose and a Cleantex uh, bag suitable for the machine. Not only can it be used for uh, dust, it can also be used for liquids as well. Now the controls on the front panel, you've got an on-off switch which has three positions. Central is off, left is manual which means it switches on straight away. To the right is auto which means it will only start when an attached tool, and here's the socket for the tool, when the attached tool is started. Remember if you're using it in this auto fashion that you will have started the tool a fraction before the vacuum starts. Uh, so allow about a second for the vacuum to come up to full operating power uh, before you start using the tool. Uh, here you have a, I was going to call it a volume control, and here you have uh, a uh, speed control and I normally leave that in the, the full blast setting. And here you have a setting for the different types of hoses that you might attach. Uh, it, the central position at the top there is for 27. You, there are smaller hoses around. Uh, there's a 21 and a 16 millimeter setting as well. I think some hand sanding kits have these narrower hoses. And then to the right, you've got 36 and 50 millimeters. And the reason you have that is so that the machine uh, understands uh, what sort of hose capacity there is, how much airflow there should be going through it, and so on. And I don't believe it's a computer in there. I think it's a little man from Festool that does all of that. This little uh, panel here, remove that and uh, have fitted uh, an additional socket. There are some other accessories that go in there as well. Now, when you unpack this for the first time, don't whatever you do, uh, plug it in and start it. And you'll see why straight away. On each side, there are a pair of clips. You just push down the top and it falls away. And I've done it for the other side. And then lift this off. And this is the main receptacle where all the dust is going to go. And you can see it's full of the accessories. You've got here the 27 millimeter hose. You've got here a, a blanking plug. Uh, that's when you wish to carry the machine uh, from one place to another when it's in the back of your van, uh, when it's not in use. Because if you shake it around without hose attached, there's always a risk that some of the contents, which don't forget now are very harmful, those contents could come out. So there's a blanking plug. There's a holder for the mains cable, which gets fitted to the back of the uh, main frame. And there is one uh, clean text bag. And this is HEPA rated. And I'm now going to fit this. It's very, very easy to do. You unfold it carefully. You'll see there's a little tab there sticking downwards. That's going to go downwards into a little slot, which is just down here. And at the same time, this opening is going to be pushed over 
that tube. So I'm putting this neatly in here, putting the end down into the slot, and then pushing that on, lifting this green clip, and then closing it down. Now, it's best to put this in so it's symmetrical. You want to ensure that it doesn't get trapped along this uh, mating surface, mating surface between this part and this part. You don't want it to be trapped at all. And once you've done that, you can put, then put this back on. Reinstate the clips, lift up, and the same on this side. So that's it now, ready for use. Now, this machine is on loan to me, and because of that, uh, I'm not going to attach this because uh, it would then be difficult to get it back into the carton, and so I'm going to leave this unattached. Now, remember when you buy this or any other Festool tool, the service all included is something which is really, really useful uh, to have. All you have to do is to register the tool. You'll have a, a, a registration slip in with the tool, or perhaps your dealer will do the registration for you. Uh, and once the tool is registered with Festool, you'll have a no quibble three year guarantee parts and labor. If your machine is stolen within that three year period, then all you have to do is to pay a fee of 100 pounds, and then that will be replaced with a brand new machine. And don't forget, in the UK, you have a 15 day money back guarantee when you buy any tool. Now supplied with the machine is a 3.5 meter length of 27 millimeter hose. But you'll see me use this machine with the new KS60 Capex. And for that, Festool UK have sent a 36 millimeter hose, because that's the preferred diameter of hose to use when you're sawing, particularly with a Capex. Now the machine operation is very simple. I'm just gonna plug the cable into the wall, turn the power on. I'm going to plug my tool into the front of the machine here. And I'm gonna take the end of the hose and the end of the cable and attach it to the tool. Now the uh, modern hose tile for the Festool tools are a, sort of a bayonet type connector. They still fit on all of the legacy tools with no problem at all. That's the tool connected. Now there's one thing I should have pointed out earlier and that is there is a break on the unit. At the moment it can roll around. Uh, all you have to do is push down like so and there's a, a break so that's now fixed. I go to the panel and make sure it's in the auto position. I've got that set on 27, which is a 27 millimeter hose, and off I go. Now, M class, what does it really mean? Well, it means that if you're in a workshop environment and you're handling woods, particularly exotic woods like this, uh, which have a, a very high incident of irritation for the lungs, uh, then you really do need to have the right uh, quality of extractor, and sometimes even wear a face mask as well. Normally when I sand this sort of wood, I do wear a face mask. But here we go. So notice how the extractor started up automatically and when I switch the tool off, it then switches off automatically as well. Now I'm not gonna stand here sanding all day, but uh, take my word for it, I hate this wood, or rather I hate the dust that comes off it. I've just been sanding it now with obviously no problem at all. I'm now going to turn to using it with the new Capex KS60 miter saw. Now, in the interest of checking out the dust collection, I've got a piece of 4x2 uh, here. Uh, it's a dry, very dry piece. I've put a blue cloth at the back, and I'll bring the camera around to the back after I've done a nice lot of cuts. Well, I think that's probably enough cuts. Now let's look around the machine and see uh, what there is. I'll look first of all around the front of the machine. You see some little bits of dust there, nothing of any great shakes. Uh, now I do hope that when I was doing that cutting uh, that you could see there was no uh, dust in the air. And what we're looking at here are chippings. And there are more on the right hand side than there are on the left. Uh, I think that is pretty good frankly. Uh, the, these pieces are, are, are the big bits. These are the big bits uh, that just don't get 
picked up in the suck of the machine. Now for this next bit of demonstration I'm going to put on my full uh, 3M VersaFlow protective gear uh, because there's going to be a lot of really fine dust around uh, and I don't want to take any risks. But I'm going to demonstrate that the extractor can handle it. Well let's have a look. Now I deliberately ran the machine until the filter bag was full and you may have heard the little beeps uh, that were occurring um, and that was to indicate that the flow through the machine was below uh, a certain level and uh, the, the number of causes and uh, the cause was that the bag is just about full. Now you can see here a bit of discoloration. That discoloration indicates that uh, some very fine dust is getting through there but remember this is an enclosed container and under here we have a filter and this is the filter that provides the final line of protection and if I take this filter out you can see it's an easy module to replace and when you do have to replace something like this I would suggest that you wear a mask like as I am now Time to remove the bag, lift up the green lever like so, and now we're going to just gently prise this off there. And you can see the bag with its dust in there. You want to straight away pull up on this tab, which you can't do whilst it's actually uh, got the connection into the, the hose port there. So take it off the hose port and immediately lift that. That gives you a good degree of protection. Lift the bag out and then dispose of it according to the regulations in your country. I hope now to be able to give you a practical demonstration of the difference between a, a 27mm hose and a 36mm hose. I've got a, a bucket of shavings here, they're pretty uniform, and I hope uh, what I'm about to do uh, will give an indication just why you should always try and use a 36mm hose for saws in particular, which produce quite a large amount of dust. Now we're on the 36mm. And it's now time to change the bag again because the machine is just about full. So off comes this one. We know the procedure now. Pull this off so it's just off the port there. Pull that up so it's sealed and lift it out just like so. Take the new bag, make sure it's fully opened out. That's just a bit of dirt from the floor here. Uh, this bottom end goes in first over there, lift the tab, and that's now in position. Tuck this in so it's tidy. And again, the inside of this is perfectly clean, absolutely spot on. And you notice I'm not using a mask. Just make sure that it doesn't get accidentally trapped. And when I put the lid on, here goes the motor and filter unit. There it goes. Now remember I had been using the 36mm hose and there's it in that position there. I'm going to switch back to the 27 now so I'm putting it in that position. Remove this hose and I'll put the other one on. And I should point out that any of the Festool sustainers can be fitted on the top here and held securely. So you've now got, in my case, my handy dandy uh, toolbox all ready uh, wherever I happen to be. Well, that, that's it really. I hope I've explained everything. Don't forget, it's 0.1 milligrams per cubic meter. That's the M classification. Uh, very important now in both woodworking and construction industry in general. Uh, I hope you saw the difference when I compared the two hoses, the 27 and 36 millimeter hose, uh, just in the pure capacity to suck 
the 36 is far better. And that's why it's recommended for uh, saws mainly. Uh, but also if you've got the OF2200 router, the big router, uh, then it's a useful thing to use there as well. Well, that's it. It's time to put it back in the box and off it will go to the next reviewer in the chain. Uh, they're not getting my toolbox, though. Now, this is a great extractor. I've had the CTL26 uh, for five years now and it works absolutely brilliantly, just as good as it did on the day it arrived. And this will give many years of good service, too. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.